welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Sarah Carnes, Director of Live Well Shawnee County. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. All right, welcome back to the show. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Good to be back. Yes, and so now um, I understand a new survey is out meant for um, everybody in Shawnee County, the uh, uh, the Community Health Needs Assessment. It's a mouthful. So, yes, yeah, it's a mouthful, <laughs> yes. But please give us some details of what this survey is all about. Sure, yeah. So it's kind of a confusing process to kind of wrap your mind around, but um, the community health needs assessment is something we do in cycle with the um, community health improvement plan. It's something that a number of partners or organizations mm -hmm. in the um, in Shawnee County have to do for their accreditation. So all nonprofit hospitals have to do one. Um, the health department has to do one. Vallejo Family Service and Guidance Center, um, United Way uses it for their strategic planning. And uh, all of those partners who have to do it for their accreditation come together. So we're not, um, you know, duplicating or everyone's <laughs> reinventing yeah, I the wheel. I filled this survey out five times already. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we do that and um, and really look at what the community health needs are. Mm -hmm. And I, I took it. Um, I took the survey yesterday. Thank you. And yeah. it only takes uh, like a couple of minutes to go through. Mm -hmm. And I yes, for myself, I, it wasn't that difficult. I, uh, I'm I'm very fortunate in my life where I haven't mm -hmm. had too many issues. Yeah. But it covers a whole range of issues from kind of. Um, mental health, mm -hmm. like social, like I think I saw bullying in there, in child care, mm -hmm. and just well, yeah, what are all the needs that the survey's kind of looking for in the community? Yeah, so we're looking for um, the main priority areas, and we establish those after we get the assessment survey results. Um, last time we did the assessment, we um, realized that mental health, substance use, um, health equity, and food access were the faint, the four main areas mm -hmm. that we needed to focus on. So we're looking at um, what the community says um, and what they um, what they tell us we mm -hmm. need to focus on. Okay, so we, um, more into that, you know, what's the significance then of, of being able to get the survey out to the community and learning you know, what the needs are? It's hugely significant because we we can guess what, what the needs are, but we need to hear from from everyone in the community, mm -hmm. or as many as we can, and we want to hear from all the different zip codes that make up Shawnee County. We know that um, because of social determinants of health, that uh, health for someone on the west side is different from health from someone on the east side, and, and every pocket in between. So we, we really want to hear from everyone. Mm -hmm. And so where can people um, find the survey if they want to take it? So there's a number of places you can go to look, but um, I think are we gonna have a QR code up here. I can I can get a link into okay. the, into In the, the uh, site too. Yeah, perfect. Um, so there's a link um, that you can find on the Stormont Vale website or Live Well Shawnee County, um, United Way of Cobb Valley website, um, a number of places where you can you can find that survey link or the QR code. Mm, okay, yes, yeah, so, easy, so easily accessible. I know, um, I think we're seeing people ask it about, you know, spread the word, share yes. it on, you know, Facebook or any kind of social media as well. You know, mm -hmm. get your friends and family to help add the information to the community because it only, it only helps us. Right, yes, and word of mouth is the best way mm -hmm. to spread that information. So if you take it, um, send it to three other people and, and get the word out there that way. Wonderful, I think there's at least three people watching right now. So Perfect. hopefully I've done my job. <laughs> Yes. You're welcome, Johnny <laughs> County. And now this is all coming together for a town hall meeting on May 15th at mm -hmm. 9 a.m. at the library. Mm -hmm. And so what will you guys be, you look at the results of the survey that day, right? Yes, okay. we'll look at the results and talk about where um, where we're leading in the process that gets us to the community health improvement plan. And that plan um, helps us set interventions mm -hmm. and actionable um, goals for improving the health of the community. And how often, how often does this survey um, really Released. So we we do the survey every three years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so after the last year, I know you mentioned kind of some of the things you guys were focusing on. Have we seen any kind of um, change in the community since the last survey? Yeah, we've had a number of successes. Um, we'll see what what the survey says this time. But some some successes would be uh, Stormont Vale starting some different maternal infant care initiatives. Um, the health department opening up or creating an overdose dashboard. Um, just a number of things. United Way uh, uses this for their strategic planning and their whole family coalition. There's a lot of a lot of things out there that we're working on. Wonderful. Well, I'm looking forward to I, I'm looking forward to seeing the results and just yeah. seeing how we can you know focus in and help keep improving the community. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right, thank you so much, Sarah, for joining mm -hmm. us this morning. And of course, everyone, if you also want to learn more about Live Well Shawnee County, you can go on, head on over to livewellsnco.org.